Good evening and welcome back to where absolutely nothing happened. You know something happened. So, found an interesting YouTube channel. Well, goes by Weatherbox. Been all sorts of different topics from tornado outbreaks to blizz extreme blizzards in the northeast or whatever is like what I find fascinating is some of the satellite maps that were used for these tornado outbreaks and the little tornado signatures and these land of thunderstorms something fascinating about the satellite maps and even the barometric pressure maps as well as like I don't know why I didn't get in the weather sooner I mean I've seen old paper barometric weather, weather maps way back when it was like which I found even fascinating then weather is so fascinating yeah I could I need I need to learn a lot more about weather lots more I know a I know I know a storm chaser. She does very good. She goes around southeastern Saskatchewan, the no southwestern Saskatchewan. Jenny Hagen, very good, very good storm chaser. She keeps on top of, the, of severe weather, where it's blizzard, potential blizzard and snowstorm warnings in the winter, to severe thunderstorms in the summer. It's like she's got it covered. She's very good. Very good. Now, yesterday, I didn't make a third video yesterday. I don't know why, but yesterday I started season 11 of the Reckoning Show, and naturally, you know, M&M's. <coughs> Got myself another three bags, which gets me through nine episodes, which will get me through halfway through season 11. That's right. Eventually, at some point, I get three more and covered. Give me through season. I'll just knock another season off just for the extreme hell of it. Because why not? I had, a, I had a very good lasagna. Not store bought, homemade. From one of my neighbors across the street, Alyssa. Last November, I gave her a whole bunch of bags that I didn't really need because I kept forgetting bags at home. And she gave me this little little bag that when you, oh, it looks like a strawberry until you open it up, and then there's your bag. Yeah, that that has come in quite handy. So today I gave her the last of the ones I had that I neglected to give her in November. I had to add a few more. <coughs> There's always a trade. They always get a little trade. In this case, like bags for lasagna. Is like, ah, oh, I'm full now. Lasagna was quite delicious. You can't go wrong with homemade. No, you cannot. Ah, my stomach is quite happy. He loves me now. Oh, what else can I add? I already told you about the first time I had lasagna, so I don't want to repeat that story. If somebody's going to ask, then. And it, 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 long story short, it's made, it's a, I was a pissed off at the Edmonton International Airport, a trip to Calgary. My mom using the rental at home because if she drove to Calgary, that would have been expensive. And we had dinner at the airport and I ordered a lasagna, which is like, yes. Something about lasagnas I like. If done right. Of course, if they're done wrong, then it's like, yeah, it's not so good. Once in a while, I'll sneak in a spaghetti. If I decide to have spaghetti. I'm craving a good spaghetti, though. There you go. So. That's going to be for another day, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to add. 
So, got a whole lot of weather and lasagna, reusable bags, and all sorts of stuff. So that time, popped out of ideas. So, in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one. Come on, there you go.